this uh, stuff with Ralph, but maybe we'll hear from him later. I'm ready to do the lie detector test. Everybody wants the answer. We have $700 in side bets going. Ralph fleeced us for three grand. Ralph is yawning, looking nervous. Ed, would you say he looks nervous? Well, he's, uh, he's calmed down. He was nervous in the beginning, but uh, <clears throat> he's calmed down now. Yeah, Mary he's even good. said that uh, he was shaking his leg a lot, but I said he always shakes his leg. My boy's right. going to come through. Right. All right, Ed. I'll, uh, why don't you start the questioning the way you have to, and then I'll whisper questions okay. to you. All right. Okay. Ralph, you have to sit still. <laughs> See, he's trying to throw off the test. All right. All right. Look straight ahead. Close your eyes and don't move. Okay. Now, take a deep breath. That's it. Now, just relax. Okay. I hope Ralph doesn't kiss Ed. Oh. <laughs> okay. See? Okay, He's just look straight ahead. Yeah. Don't say anything. Yes or no. Okay. Okay? Yes. You're doing good. God damn, this is good radio. Okay. Better television. Right. You're doing good, Ralph. Just hang in there. Okay. Hey, do you know you have a beautiful voice? Thanks a lot. <laughs> just wanted you to know that. Okay. All right. I have to be okay. so tight. <laughs> okay. Shut up, it's Ralph. too tight? Ralph. All right. Sorry, that's, that's now I'm getting annoying. He is gay. Okay, Ralph. She is gay. <laughs> okay, Ralph. Just relax. You're doing good. Okay? Very good. Doing good. He hasn't done anything yet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing good. Okay. What is that, Freddie? Just trying to calm him down. All right. Okay. He's acting so flippity All right. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. I'm suspicious of that. Stay Ed. still. <laughs> Try not to move. I'm, I'm fidgety. Ed, you're not gay, are you? <laughs> no, it's homosexuals. We're very okay. jumping. The needles just jumping. Yeah, the needles jumping. Okay. Right, here we go. <laughs> okay, okay Ralph. Calm just down. look straight at Ed. Try yes. not to move. Ed, He's doing good. He's doing good. He hasn't done anything. All right, okay. All right. Homo okay. says what? <laughs> <laughs> Is your first name Ralph? Yes. He's doing enough. good. What does yeah. he mean? He knows his name. He knows his name. Is your last name Cirilla? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Are you now 31 years of age? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you intend to answer all questions truthfully? Yes. Shut up, Jackie. What's he carrying on him? He said not. <laughs> and tell me when you're ready for questions. Okay, go ahead. All right. Do you like sitting next to a man while watching a romantic movie? <laughs> Do you like sitting next to men watching romantic movies? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. um, well, I don't, that's a tough question. No, it's just a yes, yes or or no. no. We'll go over everything okay. later. Just right. yes or no. Okay. Just yes question. or no. Try not to move. Stay still, Ralph. Do you ever look? Do you ever look at a man and wonder if he's a good kisser? <laughs> do you ever look at a man and wonder if he's a good kisser? Uh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever kissed a man with your open mouth? Have you ever kissed a man with your open mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you be able to touch a man's naked buttocks and not get excited? <laughs> Would you touch a man's naked buttocks? And not get excited. And not get excited. Yes. Do pictures of naked women bore you? Do pictures of naked women bore you? No. Are you a fag? <laughs> Are you a fag? Are you a fag? <laughs> no. Are you a bisexual? Are you a bisexual? No. Have you ever had anything larger than an enema tube inserted in your anal cavity? <laughs> Have you some tube inserted in your anal cavity? Inserted in your anal cavity. How big's an enema tube? All right, forget that question. <laughs> All right, okay. You when want to ask him personally? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask Put the question. This on. And just Can answer yes you? or no, okay, genius. When you move right. your bowels, do you wish they were going in reverse? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Would you rather be alone on an island with? A... Wait a minute. You got to give him a little time. All right. Would you rather be alone on an island with Cindy Crawford than David Bowie? Cindy Crawford. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever pleasured yourself while fantasizing about a naked man? No. 
Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Howard Stern? No. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Jackie the Jokeman? No. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Trent Reznor? No. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Danny Goldberg? Yes. Right. Have How you about Brad Pitt? He did like Brad Did Pitt. you ever have sexual thoughts about Brad Pitt? No. Have you ever flirted with a woman that you damn well knew was a man in drag? Yes. That's pretty disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> did, you get, did you ever get aroused watching kids swim in the YMCA pool? <laughs> no. Have you ever held hands with a man romantically? No. Have you ever touched another man's private parts? You're no. asking him too fast. The guy has to look for no. a reaction. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I'm getting excited. <laughs> Have you ever touched another man's private parts? No. Are you aroused by naked pictures of men? No. Do you enjoy having other men see you naked? You gotta slow down. Sorry, sorry. We'll start again. Ugh, I don't know why you can't see what he's doing. <laughs> Because I'm very, very busy. <laughs> do you enjoy having Do you enjoy having other men see you naked? No. Have you ever fantasized about giving oral sex to a man? No. Do you ever fantasize about being held down and raped by a man? No. <laughs> Have you ever had a dream about sex with a man? Down. Sorry. You're going to ruin the test. See, you're trying to win your money by ruining the I know, test. I agree. Shh. All right, you're going too fast, Alan. <laughs> Give it five seconds between each question. That's it. Go ahead. Have you ever had a dream about sex with a man? No. Have you ever looked at No. <laughs> Oh, you gotta stay still. Have you ever thought of having sexual relations with your sister? Oh, no. You're sick. <sighs> Have you committed sin with an animal? No. <laughs> Are you gay? No. Look at how nervous he's getting. Okay. Are you a bisexual? No. Have you ever been accidentally invaded during sex by a man? No. All right, I'm done unless someone else has another question. Speak now or forever hold your peace. It's good for me. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Is it good for you, uh, all right. Mr. Lie Detector Man? Let me answer man? all questions truthfully. Yes. It's very serious. Okay. I'm trying to be relaxed. Okay. I'm just going to repeat a couple questions. All right, Howard? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> These are the ones that I didn't pass. <laughs> ask him what... Uh, hey, Ed. Ed, right. ask him, does the smell of duty get you aroused? Okay. Let me take his headsets off, okay? All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Are you now 31 years of age? Yes. What was that question again, Howard? Does the smell of duty get you aroused? Does the smell of duty arouse you? No. Does the thought of Mary McCormick nude make you yawn? <laughs> Wait a second. You gotta slow down, Howard. All right, forget yeah. it. You forget it. Uh, <laughs> Is your sphinct... Go back, Ed, and go give the headphones to Ed. Well, Ed All right, let me ask you one more okay. question. <laughs> hey, Ed. Oh, this thing keeps falling off me, Ed. Okay. Ed, well, ask him if he, if he wants this thing, thing up top. Hey, Ed. Hey, that's because you got a small chest. Keeps them coming down. Ed. All right, okay. Ed, Come ask on. him. Ed, you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Ask him if he'd like to paint Howard Stern's testicles blue. Would you like to paint Howard Stern's testicles blue? If he wants me to. All right, forget that well, question. Well, that's a yes. That's a yes. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, what's the other one? I wouldn't like to, but if he wanted me to. No, Ed, you ask whatever questions okay. you Okay. All right, so I'm just going to repeat a couple questions. We'll be all through. Okay. okay. It's today, Wednesday. Yes. Okay, how do you know that? Okay. 
Is this the month of November? Yes. <clears throat> it is. <laughs> you, this knew, is why you fly. I knew that answer. Do you like the smell of duty? <laughs> no. Okay. I had to repeat that one. Just because you like that one. We had a problem with that question. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What was the other one about dreaming about men, Howard? What was that one? Uh, it's, I, the ones I'm really interested in is whether he's a fag and a bisexual. Okay. The other ones I don't care about. Okay. Except I don't know what numbers those were. All right. Okay. All right. Do you like spelling men's private parts? No. Okay. How did he come up with that? Yeah, Ed, what are you ad living? <laughs> I think oh, he's made some notes. He was oh, trying to right. keep track okay, of the Okay, the answer to all questions truthfully. Yes. Okay. What is that? You want to ask if he's gay one more time? All right. Ask clearly and slowly if he's a gay at first and if he's bisexual. Oh, okay. I'm going to repeat a couple of questions. Okay. Are you gay? No. <laughs> Very nice. <amazing. laughs> Are you bisexual? No. You know, do you think the guy who invented the lie detector test envisioned it being used on some goofy TV show to find out if Rob's a fag? <laughs> you know what I mean? right. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Do you okay. need time to evaluate? Okay, I need time to evaluate it. All right. Um, okay. Let's, okay, Ralph. Thanks We're, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we'll know if Ralph's a fag. All right. Okay. All right, right after these words. Okay, Ralph. Thank you, Ed. Thanks. We'll be back. Okay. Uh, Ralph, come on and take a seat. Where's Ed? I can't wait to collect my money. I'm confident you are not a homosexual, and I'm confident that you are not a bisexual. I'm confident that you did me proud. I did. Yeah. Look at him. I he think. knows that the end is near. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think Ralph killed Ed. I can't find him. <laughs> no, come on in, Ed. I Here comes Ed, the great lie detector guy. He's considered the foremost expert in uh, lie detection. Hey, Ed when, I, Ed, when I saw you out in the hall, I didn't know who you were. I would have said hello to you. I thought you were just like some creepy guy hanging around in the hall. He looks a little creepy, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Like, I went out in the hall, and I saw some guy walking around the hall, yes, and I went, I'm I avoiding too, this guy. He, he, he makes you a little nervous. Yeah. Ed, why don't you tell me you're the lie detector dude? Well, you were I wouldn't have blown you off. Okay, thanks. Okay. All right, here. All right, Ed. He's done the analysis? <clears throat> okay. Ed, now give it to me slow because I got 700 riding on this. Okay. I'm the only one in this room willing to bet that Ralph was no fake. How much did you bet? 700. All right. Everyone was a little nervous that I might be right because I think I could have got more action. Yeah, you should have. Right. All right. Well, Ralph's, well, if you hadn't come in here and fleeced the room first, maybe he could have gotten more action. Yeah. Right. I didn't fleece the room. You fleeced me. That's I'll never forgive you for that. I fleeced Robin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go uh, ahead, Ed. Well, I have to I say your new thing. place. Shut you up, Ralph. Now we're about to find out if you're a fag. Go ahead. Okay. OJ, you had minus 22. Right. He had minus 53. <gasps> oh! You flunked! Wait. Yeah! Well, what do you say? What do you say? Yeah! <laughs> wait. Uh, when right. you had, yeah! Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. When you ask the question, wait, 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 wait. wait. When you ask the question, oh, right. He are was you deceptive. are you gay? <laughs> right. He was deceptive. I, he I, was. What are you yeah. saying? I'm deceptive in general. Oh, look at Tom. Yeah. Get out of here, Tom. I'll pay you your money. Yeah. Yes. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. I want a clarification, okay? Oh, you better pay up your money. <laughs> you well, not right now. He got all my money. I'll this pay you tomorrow. This is a great day. Uh, isn't it? Well, it's well, a wait, wait, wait a second. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I'm not paying anything till I get the results. Okay. Ed. I can't believe you're a fake. You're a liar. I can't believe you're a fake. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You're a fake. You've, you've been up in my closet the whole time. Every time I've gotten undressed, you've been watching me. All right, forget all the other questions. I'm saying, when you said, are you a fake? Right. What did what what happened? Well, the needle went up, and uh, he really uh, showed really de signs of deception. It was yeah. Okay, now hold it, hold it. What? Because some of you bet he was a bisexual. Right. Well, I failed. bet he was. Oh gay. wait, now what happened to that one? Well, he failed that one too. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Douchebag, you're gay. I'm not. <laughs> and All when right, you when I'll I said what about stuff I'll like are you have you ever had sex with a man? 
Well, the, the worst one of all was, uh, you asked me about Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. What was the what was the what was the Brad Pitt? The bright side, Ralph. You made a few bucks. What the Brad Pitt one? Oh my God! Off the scale. What was the question? I said, are you attracted to Brad Pitt? You're off the scale. I think he's attractive. I'm not attracted to him. So that's like a borderline question. It's not a yes or no. You're a fan. You are You don't even know it. Everyone's telling me you don't know it. Me and you, the only two that don't know. Last five questions before that were: Are you attracted to? Are you attracted to? I'm telling you, I would admit it. Why would I not? And in other words, if Ralph had been going for a job. Right. They would they would never hire him, right? I mean, not in terms of being gay, but because of his deception. Right. right. He's trying to hold something back. He's yeah. Something, you know. <laughs> well, I might want hey, to Ralph, I got a lollipop for you. It's a penis lollipop. <laughs> yeah. It's for you. There you go. All right there. Pass it over to Have him, Have a Ed. good time. Have a good time. Want to see it. Ralph get happy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ralph, what ha what's going on, wow. man? I'm telling you, I'm not gay and I'm not bi. He no, doesn't know. I told that, you. That, that brass, can I can that, I ask a question seriously? Sure. Wait. All right, hook, maybe hook under. Me, uh, hook hold me, it. Uh, okay. Hook me back up to it. Ed, would Ed. you be willing to hook him back up no, one more time? No, he just failed a whole uh, test. No, excuse me. Excuse me. No, yeah, you there pay. were a lot of. This stupid. is a guy's you reputation. Pay. This is a guy's sure. reputation. I will pay. Doesn't make if he's gay. Could you just do me a favor? Okay, off the air. Off the air. Excuse me. I don't be. I don't believe the result. I don't believe the result. I'm challenging the result. We bet on the test. Listen to me. We bet on this test. That's what no, we bet no, on. No, there were a lot of there were a lot of goofy I questions on there. Right, wait a second. No. All I want you to do is uh, go back there again. You know okay. what? This is not right. Listen to me. I don't care. Not Nothing right. is right. I went through whatever you put me through. Well, well, I didn't have any preview. Yeah, that's true. I did it. That's and true. I didn't ask to go back You're into welcome. the room. Welcome. That's because you didn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because not queer. Ah, because I'm not deceptive. Right, I can't you believe you're up? a fade. You're retarded. Queer. Live with it. I'm we're here. I'm stupid, we're but you're queer. queer. Get used to it. <laughs> we're here. We're queer. Well and you're Ralph. And you know what? Da Danny even said you would buy. Wait, why am, if I'm Ours. queer, why am I yeah. not having sex with anybody? I mean, yeah, denial. hello, hello. Why? I, I have the ultimate proof that that Ralph is gay. Okay. What is the proof? Well, what happened down? It was a year ago, and it was at the limelight. Yeah. And me, Kevin, and this guy Eric, Erica, Ralph. Do you remember? Who? Erica. Okay. Erica. And do you remember girl, what happened? Erica, what, that, uh, wait, wait, wait. A girl? If I give out the nickname that you had give to everybody down there, they're going to start calling in. They are go all going down to start where? calling in. What do you mean? At the limelight. The limelight. I don't have a nickname. Oh. <laughs> you what don't is his remember? nickname? Wait, wait, what's the story? Tell me what the story is. What happened that night? What night? That night. <laughs> at the limelight, when we went over to Erica's house. Well, I don't know what you... Sir, why don't you tell I us the story? I don't, know, I don't know any, Eric. Are you Who's, saying you had gay sex with Ralph? We had a four-way... Ralph was very... Probably swayed by that, because he's very attractive. <laughs> well, but see, now this guy's definitely happened, lying, because uh, I'm not very attractive. I, don't, I can't no, believe Eric any of this. Ralph is very attractive. Listen, listen, listen. Never mind. Get away from me. Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Forget about bets and everything else. It's a man's reputation. Wait a minute. What are you talking about <laughs> reputation? What yeah, reputation does he have? Everybody hates him already. Yeah, everybody everybody hates him and everybody thinks he's gay. Stop. <laughs> oh, you don't hate me, Robin. Stop it. Stop you love it. me. What are you you're, doing? What is and it, you're, Gary? You're probably... You're, no, I just, what is it, Fafa Fafa? Fafa? It's just my opinion. It's yeah, go not, ahead. It's not even about Ralph, actually. You're like... And I don't mean this in a bad way, but you really are a sore loser. And it's not about the reputation. It's about your 700 bucks. That's right. No. I'm willing to pay you the 700 bucks no, I, regardless of the result. We don't need, Ralph doesn't need a reputation. What's he going to be, president? No. You don't understand <laughs> something. Yeah, I'm I telling you, running around yeah. thinking what I'm gay. Telling I'm, I'm telling you, I am a I judge really of people. Good the man is not gay. Good for you. This time you were wrong. Ed. Take that, take don't that half it, a fag back don't, to the room. Don't do take that. The test. Hey, man, I you you did son. the test. You are a professional. You got Come the result. You got to admit you you're a little. Aren't you a little curious to see if he, if again no. he flunks the test? No. I'm a little curious. Let him pay for his own 
protest. I want a thousand dollars back for him to go in that room. What's with this reputation? You know what? You might have to give your money back to get the second test. <laughs> there you go. I want a thousand dollars. No, he won't do it. Tell everybody that Gary's stupid and I'm fat and Fred's crazy and everything. Who cares about reputation? This is a show. And no, he but lives. I am curious to see if the result is the same. Then Pay I'll believe me. he's a fag. Pay me. Do it on your own. I'm paying you anyway. I'm doing this on my own time. Ed, this has I nothing to do with the bet. Okay. You'll get. You'll get your. You only bet me a hundred. No, I'm talking about Ralph. Uh, forget Ralph. This is my reputation. No, no. Your reputation. No, you don't get your I am a judge back. of people. You are I no judge of people. Ed, Ed, the only Kenneth Keith Callum back was a great guy. Ed, get out of here. Ed, please. <laughs> Take this, get this half a fag back. <laughs> How many times do you undress him? He's going to be right. deceptive again. All right, listen to me. Right. Just ask him two questions. Uh, excuse right. me. Are you a fag? This right. is wrong because and now he's been prepared. And ask, I just want to see the result. He's what, been prepared. What do you mean? I, I this was prepared. This is the result. It will not be a valid result. Okay, whatever. Well, let me come back some other time. No. Okay. Well, it's all right. We can handle it. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not that upset. I will find money. All right. Listen to me. You, I I'm you, just right. for my result. You don't even have to tell them the rest of the result. Okay. I want to know. Just take him back there. Cook him up real quick. Clear. And it's ask him not if, right. if he's gay it's and if he's bisexual. Right. You won't know the answer. It's not right. I want to know for myself. Right. No. I, no. I don't care what's right. It is not right. Tough. I don't think he could pass it again, no. but it's well, not right. Ed, Ed. Ed. How much you want to... Oh, God. Ed, Ed. Wait, wait, wait. What? That, that, what is it, 53? Minus 53. OJ, well, OJ murdered Ron truthful. and Nicole and got a minus What's, 22. OJ you got a, is more truthful than Ralph. Yeah, just say, he's saying OJ well, yeah. told more truth. What's the worst score you could get? <laughs> what's the worst score you've ever seen? Look at the bright oh. side, Ralph. But wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. What's oh, the worst, man. what's the worst score you... What, Ed? Said, minus 60. Minus 60. You're Ed. right there, Ralph. Ed, get closer to the mic, will you? And have people give it, like... <laughs> you're telling me that the worst result was minus 60? Right. The curve. Wow. 53. Got, minus 53. 53. He's almost there. The worst liar almost this guy's there. ever seen. That, like, <laughs> axe murderers do better, right? But the, Mass but, murderers. But, what is but, the worst case that you've ever done a lie detector for? Um, in San Domingo, in yeah. the Dominican Republic, I did a polygraph, and uh, he was one of the worst. What was he, a murderer or something? Yeah, he was a murderer. A murderer. And what did but, he get? Oh, he was uh, close to him. Really? <laughs> he got a minus 40. <laughs> wait, Ed, 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 wait, wait, I got a question. Can you, can you look at the question? Is this just saying overall I'm a liar, or are you taking the questions no, and on saying... Some, some on questions. the gay question, you lied. Right, definitely. On some questions... What is it, Tom? Well, I, I, said, I, I knew I was going to win the 100 bucks, but I don't believe he's gay. I just knew he was going to fail the test. And right. So I bet the 100 bucks. Me too. That's why I'm so saying I, I bet see, you he could pass I, the I test. No, he I don't can't think pass he's gay. the test. I just didn't think he was going to pass the test. Why? You think he's why? Because he's too nervous? I, I, I don't was know. Was he nervous There's about it? Yeah, now, like, now I'm really there. getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe you're gay and you don't know it. I, that's what I figure. But if I was that's gay true, if too, I was yeah. gay and I didn't know it, would it show up? Yes. Would, would it? It, but I'm not lying. If I let the guy answer. Ed, would it show up if he was gay and he didn't know it? Well, if he had thoughts about being gay, it'll show up. Really? Yeah. Definitely. But that, but that, but that, that would be. But, 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 but look at my movie wife, all proud of herself. Don't, <laughs> don't even be proud of yourself. You, did, you failed too. What did Howard. you fail on? I failed on a lot of stuff. What you? Come on, don't don't bring it up. I had enough we trouble with that. We didn't get to ask him movie <laughs> questions. All right. So I had a little sex on the side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I and at I least was it innocent. wasn't gay sex. I was <laughs> innocent. Yeah. <laughs> if it had been gay sex, it would have been better when I went home. Yeah. All right, look, Mary, you look. shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say something, Mary? Walk over the microphone and just say it already, all right? You want to rub it in? Don't rub it into me afterwards. Now is when you say it. Come on, Mary. What? Pay up. I can't believe you tried to weasel out. <clears throat> you goddamn secret fag. No, he you said he's he saying I'm gay. He didn't want to take the test. He didn't want he to take didn't it. want to take the test. Why do you think he wouldn't want to take I, the I, test? I, I, Are you a secret fag or no? No. Did you ask me any straight questions? Like, to, like were there? I don't oh, even remember. Oh, you lied because they were no. goofy? No. You there like were. sports, Ralph? There, there were. There were pictures about women and looking at Yeah, how did I do on those? Excited. You lied. <laughs> you lied, you lied, you <laughs> lied. <laughs> Go through it yourself. All right. Just do me a favor. Take him in the back and ask him again. I don't uh, believe it. Sure Howard. I got to know for me. Howard. I got to know for me. It doesn't matter. This is beyond the it show. It doesn't matter.
matter. To you it doesn't matter. To me it does. You're not in a closet naked with Ralph. If you want to go into a closet with him, go ahead. And take him back in there and measure him again. Don't do it. Do it. Do it, Ed. It's unprofessional. You'll get your money. It's unprofessional. You'll get your friggin' money. And I still don't think Ralph. Hey, Mary. Hey, wait a second. Hey, Mary, can I have my money? Hey, wait a second. Dominic's on the phone. Dominic's a happy man now. Hey, Dominic. Happy days are here again. You always said he was gay. Number one. Dominic fantasizes Number that. one, I lost my best friend to a fag, which I knew. Right. Oh, but I want to know what friend. this means about you two. He's, oh, shut Howard's up. Howard's probably gay, too. So maybe I'm gay. <laughs> Happy days are here again. Uh, uh, I get out of here. the best news that I've had in years. But I just lost a bundle. Dominic, why is this the best news you've had? Because I've been predicting it. I predicted it to he Robin at that it. funeral yes, five years he ago. Did. Right, Robin? Absolutely. And, and I said I guarantee you it's true? <laughs> yep, you did. Dom and I didn't believe Dominic, it at that time. Dominic, how accurate are lie detector tests? Um, I be honest, say, be honest. Why are they not admissible in court? I'll be very honest. not 100% accurate. All right, I've used lie detectors for years, like 25 years. Yeah, be honest now, Dominic. Don't I'm be being goofy. very straight. And I'm being straight. Get it? I guess. You ready? Ah. Now. Minus 53 is the worst score I've seen in about 500 lie detector tests. Ah. <laughs> and I'm including, I'm including a person who robbed the bank, got caught with the gun, and we gave him the test. He got a minus 30. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, OJ had a minus 22. Yeah. I mean, minus OJ, 50. we know he did it. Well, it's, 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 I, Jesus Christ, you really, man. Sorry, I'm, you know what? I'm going out for a big lunch. <laughs> thank that, you, that, that's, no, that's no, yeah, that's the, that's not because he's a fade. <laughs> All right, thanks. He's going out for a third that's big lunch. Dominic today. Barber, bloated attorney. Well, I got to well, tell well, you something. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. Hey, take him in the back. Just do one extra test for me. I got to no. know. I'm in the closet. No. Right. Take, take no. me. No. The, yeah, do the extra no. test. No. Take your clothes off. See if I get excited. Go ahead. Bastards. <laughs> Go ahead, swish out of here with Ed. <laughs> Sashay. Sashay. Touche. Let Howard? your freak flag Why? fly. <laughs> Go get oh, Ralph a hot dog for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what? You John believe this thinking, guy? John was thinking that this is a perfect opportunity now to ask Ralph about another incident we've never been sure about. Mm -hmm. how, far the, how far he went with the priest. I know. Oh, yeah. If you're lonely, you're hooking him up again? He's not getting hooked up again. Oh, he is. No, he isn't. You say he's not. I I'm telling you he's no. doing it. I'm it away. <laughs> you're not. Ed's <laughs> hooking him up. Ed's hooking him back no, up. No, he's not. It's over, Johnny. That's it. He got one test. Minus 53. <laughs> it's over, Johnny. You didn't tell I, the I, truth I, about your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that just means I'm a complete liar and I That's lied about right. everything. That's no, right. it doesn't, no, it doesn't. I think you were terribly I think you were... deceptive on all the gay questions. And he was okay on his name, right? He passed that. <laughs> I mean, you passed that. That's the only thing he told me. The only thing you about. passed. Is there, the... Are there any gay questions that I passed, Dad? How about the sister question? Come back here, Ed. Did he do anything with his sister? <laughs> 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 Even Ed's sweating. He's upset. He doesn't want to be near Ralph. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> was he... Was, one of the worst questions, believe it or not, What's was the, Brad the buttocks. Yeah. The, the buttocks? buttocks? What was the buttocks question? Let me ask me about the buttocks. Can you touch a man's buttocks? Without getting sign. aroused? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. What about... Touching men's buttocks. What was the question? That was the uh, question. What do you get can't... aroused when you touch men's buttocks? Right. Is that the question? Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Let me see that. Look at that. Oh my God! Yeah, he doesn't need to go back, back into a room. I've never touched a man's butt. Look at this. Yeah, I right, mean, I've Ralph. touched it. I've touched it, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, excited. and you spike just like that. With Look you at know. that, Robin. I see what Let you're saying there. Let me see. Look at that. There's a, that's a, that's higher than Mount Everest. That's a mountain. <laughs> what are you on the next page? And it went off the page. <laughs> what, are, what are the other ones that, that were bad? I like the breath of you like the smell of man's duty. I do. What about is he in love with Howard Stern? What was that one? That was that was. Get close to that one. What was that? Of course, I love you, Paul. What? That was a problem, too. What do you mean? Really? He does He's love me. He's in love with him, isn't he? He is in love with well, me, isn't right, he? Right, definitely. From what I see. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> Bob. See that? Guy's in love with me. Yep. Uh, Not in a sexual way. Right. Oh, oh, sure. Bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to have sex. What other way is there? <laughs> You're always coming on to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. You excite me.
believe it. It's not funny now when I do that gay voice, is it? <laughs> no. no. It's like not. Funny. Come on, I don't even like to watch the gay guys on Melrose Place. I mean... No, because you want them. It's really <laughs> easy. <laughs> it's hard. All right, look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. We so what you I have do. A gay this friend. is a real problem. <laughs> so you have a gay friend. What's the big deal? Yeah, everybody. Hey, oh, do wow. me a favor. During Stone Temple Pilots, hook him back up again. No. And ask him again. Okay. No. I don't believe Whatever it. You no. want to do. He can't be hooked up again. It's a one shot That's deal. True. That's She's the way right. we do it here. She's right. It's I did shot. it once. I didn't right. ask why, for a why, retake. Why, why? I didn't ask for anything. I didn't ask for any special why consideration. Can I? I didn't even fight you to take the test. I don't care. Right. She's right. She's right. What do you mean she's uh, right? Yes, right. I am right. She's well, you right. never give a second test? That's right. Well, well right. Well, get him out of here. What's he that, Mary? Need another test. Well, see, Mary, what what's that? What, Mary, I can't Mary hear you. Does get over there and a talk. lawyer. Now she thinks she's one. Yeah, now she thinks she's a lawyer. She's Go ahead. These confused <laughs> actresses. I think now that we've had this whole discussion, if you went to take a second lie detector test, which, by the way, is welching, I'm not welching. Your, I said I still pay. Your results would be affected, won't sure, they? Right. Absolutely, Absolutely, they would. You can't go in now. This would and not be a problem. Yeah, but if I was now. lying She's before, right why, 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 why? Is that right? Ed, why yes. be more relaxed? Why don't we listen to Ed? He's an expert. Then why, won't, like OJ, then why won't OJ take a second lie detector test? Well, he's lying. Yeah, no, but why not? If, if the second time you go in, it's going to make a different result. He should go in. It's yeah. according yeah, to your logic. It may not make it better, but it will be different because now he's had all this. First of all, he's taken the test once. He's had a rehearsal. Is that true, Ed? Dude, I Ed, was, I was, Ed, is that true? Ask Ed. Is right? right? All right. I wasn't going to take your money, but now I am. Because <laughs> yes, <too>. You better. <laughs> I better have some money for this. Your <laughs> reputation is at stake. His reputation's gone. <laughs> All I know is what, what Mary just had more lines in here than she has on her show. <laughs> yeah. All right. She good. did good. She did good. I had to hell with all of you. Right. He is no he fag. Hates to lose. Look all at right. You. Even this you hate to lose. I do. <laughs> this I really hate to lose. I gotta say, man. Stay I'm away from my children. Gay. I know. He's a good actor, though. He really pretends like he's having fun at scores yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, like, why would I do all that if I was gay? I mean, I've, I've had sex with girls. She says you're bi. But I haven't had you know sex what? with any I men. know lots of gay guys who've had sex with girls. Sure. I, you do? Yes. I don't. I well, mean, I know gay guys. Well, because your gay and they friends have... are really into yeah. gays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got weird friends. <laughs> hey, Ralph, you ought to take that money and move to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Start over. Yeah. God Change damn. your name. I'm damn, it's just a, it's a I'm shock. I'm, ru I'm running to the I'm bank. shocked. So are what you is from it? Toronto? Yes, hello? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we don't even need a lie detector test. If someone, <laughs> if someone smells another man's farts in, in the spot pan area. What are farts? He's from farts? Boston. Are you I'm from Boston? I'm trying to be nice on the air. And also, Timmy the Cat says you're a fag. Oh, no. You're it's a fag. Like what did he say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Be prepared for a lot of yeah, uh, abuse. <laughs> abuse. <laughs> hey, oh, man. You might as well come out of the closet. Well, what, what, I, I don't know. Unbelievable. Nobody thought I was straight anyway before, so what's the difference? Yes, Faye, you're on the air. Hey, yo. Uh... I told is you this vague? Vague I told you that. Remember when I was on? Vague? I told you. Told you, told you, told you. He'd probably wear a pair of Victoria's Secret panties right now. I can't even take it. <laughs> well, well, honey, you did it. What are you lying about? I'm not Come lying. On, I'm clean. I'm not lying. Give us a scoop. <laughs> okay. All right, maybe with you. All right, thank not you. Uh -huh. All right, I, I've had enough. Well, you have a gay friend. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're it. hip, man. It's hip. Nah, you gay ain't gay. <laughs> Fine. He flunked the you test, but he is not gay. Denial. Stay in denial. All right, I'm in denial. You're, you're there with I'm Rose. right there with you. You flunked your <laughs> test, too. Right. Oh. And I know I was God. telling the truth. Me, too. You're right. in denial. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Fred. Hey, would you come over to my house and teach my daughters how to knit? <laughs> I don't know how to do. Oh, you'll learn. Teach about a seamstress. I don't sew. Stay away from my kids, all right? No, they're safe. They're girls. They're girls. Oh, that's right. Maybe he had some young boys over there. All right. Okay. Ed, listen, thank you so much for helping us out with this. I don't think you were accurate today. You're usually very accurate. I think something went wrong. I think Ed stands by his results. I stand by my results. Dude, can I ask you one favor? Thank you. What? Can I just... I just stay in here, man. <laughs> yeah. Why, well, you want to meet Stone Temple Pilots? Uh, well, I just want to go outside. Huge. All right.
Uh, Ralph, if you want to kiss Ed goodbye. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, Ed. All right, we're going to take a break. Bye, Ed. He's something scary. The side of his face has a hideous berry. His teeth are even worse than Gary's. Howard's girlfriend, Ralph. Everyone knows that Ralph is best at shaving the hairs off of Howard's chest. But other than that, he's a worthless pest. Howard's girlfriend, Ralph. <laughs> It, Jackie. I really love that. I love how you sing. Oh. You should have su sung with Stone Temple Pilots. Oh, yeah. yeah you he were... never joins in with the band. Because yeah. he's all uptight. Because he doesn't think he's very good. He's a virtuoso. Now, besides Ralph being gay, what else is in the news, <laughs> Ralph? <laughs> is it news time? Oh, yes. Very much so. I didn't realize it. I haven't given you my carts. Hey, Ralph, it's all over the news. It just broke on AP. You're gay. <laughs> hey, you know what I did while Stone Temple Pilots was playing? What? You know how we're always saying, is Scott DePace gay? Yes. I gave he, him a lie detector test. He's our e-camera, e-director, right? I know. He got the lie detector? Yeah, but, you know, I don't think, what kind of questions are you? I don't think he's gay. I think something happened to him. Mm, you're yeah, hot. He's all freaked out. You are well, really hot. Well, as a gay hot. person, you gay, probably man. have gay dar. You are so hot. Now that you're gay. <laughs> yes. Now you can. Come here and sit on my lap. Yeah? Yeah. Come here. Why don't you two see where this can go? <laughs> mm. Hey, I bet you, I bet you if I just, like, was in, you know, like, in a room with you and you, I could just slid my pants off and pull down my underwear. We got a three-day weekend. Man. And, like, maybe you can just get me really hot. Yeah. And you can just touch my thighs and rub me. Would you shave down first? No. Mm. I want you to eat my hair. Oh, no. Yes, you would. Would you, you pretty, pretty boy? No, no, would you no. put your tongue on my hair? Would you? Come on, you're getting me work. <laughs> would you suck my armpit? When everybody's listening, so. What? I think he's getting into it. I tell you, if that I lie detector get, was think, on him now, he'd be spiking again. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're getting into it. Would you? What are you doing this Would you weekend? kiss me? <laughs> you want to come over to my house this yeah. weekend and relax me? Yeah, I was actually going nice to suggest that. I bet you could relax me like no woman could. You two can get in the hot tub. <laughs> you're not uptight either, are you? No. You don't care that I'm married. No. Do you? And that's not cheating. It's not cheating if I'm with a guy. No. You don't even want dinner. Oh, he'll take oh, dinner. Oh, please. Yeah, I got to be fed. <laughs> you know what I want you to do? What? I want you to just take your strong hands. All right? Yes. And I want you to, I want you to clip your nails before you do this to me. Oh. And then what I want you to do yes. is choke yourself to death. <laughs> okay? So I never have to see you again. Because <laughs> I don't want any witnesses. <laughs> All right. Very good, Ralph. Uh, so, beside Ralph being gay, hey, what happened with Scott DePace? Is he gay or what? Where's the uh, lie detector? What question did you, what did you ask him? We asked him, are you bisexual and are you gay? Are you gay? Did you, did you, ask, did ask, did you ask him, ask him the thoughts? questions like if he ever had some guy come on, you know? No, nah, we, we didn't have time. Let me see. What do you got oh, there, Scott? He, he must have passed. He's bringing it up. He's so. coming in here real <laughs> See, happy. now that, that, that shows that this definitely does not work. <laughs> All right. Now, what does it say here? Right here was... I'm, I'm totally normal right here. Everything's straight. And then the last question he asked was uh, something about when the fleet came in, and I, I laughed. So right. I got a little excitement there. All right, but yeah, what but I was know? laughing through all of it, too. So uh, where's Ed? Where, where's, the, where's the lie detector guy? Does this, where's the lie detector guy? He had to leave? I think he's still here. I'm not, he, uh, so what did he say? I think Scott you, explaining it. Yeah, Scott's explaining his own lie detection. Yeah. He must have gotten rid hey, of Ed, it. Come on in. Look how happy he is. Look at Scott DePay so happy. I'm straight. I'm straight. <laughs> this totally proves that this is wrong. <laughs> hey, Ed. Hey, Ed, come over. You see that microphone on the end? Just grab that. I want to talk to you. Right here. <laughs> this one here? No, no, no. Sorry. Right there. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Ed, you're telling me Scott DePace is no fag? That's right. No, Scott, Scott pissed the test. There was no problem with Scott. <laughs> right. So Ralph here. Oh, but, man. But let me tell you, when I asked him about if he likes sailors, 
Yeah. I got all excited about that. No. Then I asked him, I asked him, do you get excited when a fleet comes in? Right. And he just went off the chart. What, are you I writing laughed. questions now? <laughs> well, we'll ask you to be a comedian. <laughs> Ed. I mean, I was, that you can't say, was, I was laughing all through my things. So Excuse that's not fair. me. That's not fair. No, you, you, you have to me. ask Scott if he Ralph has somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this, Ralph. It's straight I, as an arrow. I, I don't, th I don't think you're gay, and I don't think you're bi, <laughs> you, but I think you, I I think you had something. I think maybe your dad came on to you. Ralph, that makes you a laughing fact. You flunked is what right. you did. Thank you, Ed. Once again, uh, <laughs> which well, proves that that thing holds no water. Sure. All I know is I lost a bundle. All right, all right. thank you, Scott. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah, you lost two bundles. I had it all worked out. I, said, I called Ralph, Scott. and I said, Ralph, are you sure that you can pass the slide detector? He goes, no problem. He says, dude. When did you do that? Oh, it was a couple of nights ago. I said, tell me the truth, man. Do you, uh, you can just tell me. If then why did he come in here resisting? I said, are you the slightest bit gay? Well, I don't know what that was. It was so we can milk some money out of us. Oh. But but I said, are you the slightest bit gay? He goes, absolutely not. I said, because I'm going to make a lot of money on side bets off of you. <laughs> I don't care what it costs me. <laughs> Backfire. It sure did. How much did you lose Because you were side trying bets? to cheat us. 700 Who'd you bet? Seven, who'd you bet? It was like 100 with Robin. And 300 with my movie wife over there. Miss wow. Gaydar. <laughs> look, at, look at Mary all happy. Yeah. But she's not right. I know you're not gay. Oh, whatever. 300 bucks. Come right. On. All right. You'll get it. Sure. I don't have it, okay? <laughs> right now. I can get my hands on it. Right, Robin? Sure, but I just, I think that it's really funny that Ralph set you up. Mm. Well, he was convinced he was straight. He didn't know he was gay. I still think I'm straight. I don't believe that this is such a secret to Ralph. Really? Yeah. Thanks for setting me up, dude. <laughs> I didn't set you up, man. Man. Listen, I would have... I don't... It's ridiculous. You know what I'm going to do? I would have You cost me you. 700 bucks. I want you to go out to the tunnel today because you can earn 300 in 45 minutes and you go back make and make my 700 back. bucks no, back. you give me money. I'll, I'll, pay, I'll pay off you. You tunnel I'll, bunny. I'll tunnel. pay off your bets. That you, I'll pay off your bets that you lost with your money that you gave me. Tunnel Good. Money. Thank you. You should. It's all right. I'll pay off my own bets. You don't have to pay them. God damn it. <laughs> you. You. You're well, I, you lost I can't all. Oh, you lost the seven hundred dollars. Yeah, you lost your reputation. I can't well, believe yeah, you yeah, thought he could pass that test. Because I know he's not gay. Doesn't matter. Did you think he could pass the test? Mm. Well, that's different whether I can pass it or not. Well, I know yeah. I'm not gay. <laughs> well, no one else. <laughs> that, does. that sound gets me excited. Though. <laughs> yeah. All right. You want to do a little news? Sure. Ralph, get out of here. You disgust me. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You really disgust me. God. You, you I, think I'm gay now? I don't care that you're gay. I care that you yeah, lost seven hundred bucks. You wouldn't even care. I mean, that's it. I mean, I would. I would admit to it. Why wouldn't I admit to it? Do you think this will change it, your relationship? Yeah, Mary. Why wouldn't you admit to it? Why? If, if I was bi, no. why wouldn't I just? I'm, I'm honest about I don't everything. Know. I'm honest no, about not. everything honestly, in my life. you're not. You got a minus yeah, fifty-three. You, shut up. You're not honest about anything. Yeah, I still He's think bi. you're a lesbian. He's bi. <laughs> but if I'm bi, why wouldn't I admit it? You don't like it. But wh why? Yeah. I hope he didn't, I know. Not one, Not one thing. thing. Not one. You had a minus 53. I didn't get my name right. Oh, OJ man. OJ is 22. What? OJ is 22. Yeah, we know. We well, know. see, and he's not guilty. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think OJ didn't do it. I don't think so. Uh, not based on that lie detector. <laughs> yeah. Really, man. <laughs> right, OJ. <laughs> All it's right. you, Ralph. Mm. He agrees. Well, I'm not paying my movie wife. Well, we could see you were trying to weld. Because she wouldn't pay me. She should yes, pay I you. Would. You I would? Absolutely. Pay All right, I'll pay you. We could see you were trying to weld. She wanted to send Ralph loser. back in for additional it's testing and everything. Mm. You were going to test loser. him until he passed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Pitiful>. <laughs> yeah, it's so pitiful. Yeah. <laughs> God, I, can I do up. it again next week? No. What? Yes. No. Let me go, let me do it again next uh, week. Fine. Don't ask goofy questions. He's, now he's do prepped. like you did with. What do you mean I'm prepped? I knew the questions It'll never before. Never be the same. It'll I knew never the, the same. Quiet. I, I, I was you don't prepped. Know what you're I was prepped about. yesterday. Ed agreed. Don't see now that no. Ed's gone. No. Ed Ed said, said right you. now. He said Ed next said week. Next we week, if you do it again. again. Ed did say that. But to it's got to be a whole different set of questions. Yeah. 
Well, no, you can ask gay and bisexual. No, he he said not, you can do not, it. I didn't say not gay and bisexual questions, but they have to be worded differently. Uh, yeah. Don't ask silly questions. That's right. going to make okay. me laugh. All right, maybe we'll do hey, it next week. Your I mean, look what happened with line, Scott. He laughed be serious when about he was it. laughing about the sailor questions. I laughed over everything. Right. No, I you didn't. You. We watched you. I hear you. Hmm. Oh, I say you that. failed the ones you didn't laugh on. <laughs> <laughs> You flunked everything. Are we, Come on. Are we, are are we still going to get together this weekend? No. I'm not watching Babylon Fly with you anymore on my big screen. Because <laughs> Ralph likes to sit on the couch in my office and stare at the fish with me and yeah. watch the big screen. Right. What's that all about? It you must know. be male it's, fish. It's yeah. fun. That one fish you got is really freaky with that huge head. Is he? Hey, that was one of my kids. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? You know what that is? That's like a blowfish. I don't know what it is, oh. but it's got like eyes. Oh, sorry, Ralph. Oh. Blowfish. Oh. Okay. Oh. No wonder you're attracted you to like it. Go ahead and yeah. that big head. I got this fish that takes up half the... I got a 700-gallon tank in my basement, and it takes up half the tank. That's one fish. And it's got this huge head. Ralph said it looks like a face. It does, and it's friendly. It, like you could walk it on a leash. It's so big. It's got lips. And it eats all the food. I threw like a ton of live goldfish in there and ate every one. Ate oh, no. You I got to watch you feed them. That's yeah. Cool. And, they, and they, all, uh, they all feed on each other. Cannibalism going on. Yeah. It's cool. Get the food chain in this tank. What is it? <laughs> hey, do you want the results of the Scott DePace homo test? Where you been? Oh, sorry. Okay. Get out of here. Scott's with the band. All right. Good. <laughs> Look, it, way to be on top of things. Thank you. Don't yeah, check with anybody oh, before oh. you run in after oh, yeah. being away a half hour. You want to get on top of something, get on top of Ralph. Oh. Tell Gary the news about Ralph. Hey, guess what, Gary? You want to hear about Ralph? He's oh, gay. gay. <laughs> Ralph's <Surprise>. gay. <laughs> I mean, he's more gay than he was when he took the test? Yeah, he got gayer. Hey, pop, pop, you, pop, you, pop. When you test me again, you should ask me, like, who I'm attracted to here. Okay. We you know, I thought we did. It turned out you were attracted to me. Everybody but Robin. Mm -hmm. And 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 when you well, uh, I think you're an attractive. I man. knew okay. that he had a thing for Brad Pitt. I saw that happen. Mm. He's I hot. He's a good-looking guy. I, he's attractive. I'm you not got attracted as to giddy him. as a teenage girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of here. I'm totally humiliated. Come on, me. man. Let me hang out. No, get out. Come on, man. I don't want to go out. <laughs> you, <don't wanna. laughs> you can't stay in here forever. You got to go out and face the world. Come <coughs> on. I get face the world, my new man. Fancy boy. Get your back out of here. <coughs> get. Thanks, boys. Go buy a dress. Shut up, Mary. <laughs> Crease up. I, I can't stand that Mary, Mary right. Mary thinks she's so smart now. Yeah, I know. Like, you know I know. She thinks she's like, like, she's, like she just split the atom. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Big deal. Yeah. She's above Picking everything. Ralph as a, as a homo is yeah. not that yeah. big It's deal. not the cure for AIDS, sweetheart. Yeah. Okay? Mary, you were so hard. goddamn hard. proud of yourself. Oh, sure sweet. Pay hey, out, sore loser. I will. All right. You'll see the money. Bye. He's yeah. bye. He's bye. <laughs> Maybe you buy, man. Now that yeah, he knows duh. he doesn't have to do women anymore, though, I think you'll stop. <laughs> right. I'm going to come in and address the next week. Flamer. Go <laughs> put on your mascara. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to do a little news? Yeah, why don't we do that? All right. OJ Simpson. Anything about gay people in the news? Uh, I'll see if I can find some gay news for Ralph so he'll be interested. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, this fax is Robin. Oh, pictures of Ralph in a dress. Oh. I swear I'm not gay. Howard, I swear. Here's one of you. I am not gay. I just love to have sex with men. There well, that it is. That's make Ralph. You gay. Uh, Howard, if it talks like a fag, walks like a fag, it's a fag. Ralph's a fag. <laughs> Howard, put Ralph under hypnosis to see if he admits to being a fag. <laughs> it's no big deal if you're gay, and it's no crime if you're gay. I'm and very pro-gay, and I you're gay. I, I don't think so. No. I think you might be bisexual, Not, as, as uh, many have said. Now you think that. But yeah. that, the, the test said I was gay. I know. You were everything. 
<laughs> Whatever. You were all How, how did I do on that sex with animals question? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this thing. Fag or no fag, I want to kill Ralph, signed Cardinal O'Connor. Can you believe that? That's very beautiful from the pontiff. This one says, Dear Howard, the switchboard at K-Rock must be smoking more than Ralph's butt on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, now. What's the difference? We all got to live under the same uh, sky. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> there isn't one person in your 50 million gay-hating audience that isn't happy Ralph failed his test. Oh. <laughs> we all knew the bone-smuggling bastard was a fag. Wow. <laughs> How sweet. Everybody's so happy. Now. Everyone's so nice. You know. I made everybody's Thanksgiving. Right. <laughs> I was going to invite you over until I found out. <laughs> What are you doing for Thanksgiving? I don't know. I, hmm, well, I don't, too bad. I don't have any to go. Still don't know. I still don't know. I was just going to stay home by myself like a lonely old yeah. homo. I would stay you, inside and keep the Like an old queen. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an old lonely queen on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. He could work as a waitress. That's true. <laughs> hey, look, man. You're going to take a lot of crap. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay, man. <laughs> you know what? I said, maybe the world is changing. We all found out Ralph is gay today and everybody's happy. <laughs> Come on, let's do the news. This is crazy. That's we can't... a step in the right direction. Yeah, we can go find Ralph on Monday when we get back. All right. After the holiday? After the holiday. <laughs> I hope Ralph doesn't. Uh, oh, no. You're gonna be okay, man. Fantastic. I don't know, man. Right. <laughs> Look a little shaky. You might need to console me this weekend. Well, I'll be Maybe all Maybe somebody you. better stay with Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> I want to bend you over a chair this weekend and have my way with you. Uh, stop. I'd so go anyway. see a priest if I was you. Oh, <laughs> no, we know what trouble <laughs> that is. Let him work you over. That might have led to this. I blame that priest, man. If you are gay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph likes Sonny Bono, though. <laughs> He's about the right height. Yeah. Wouldn't it be weird, like, if all those hungry people she always helped, like, when she goes, they, they all eat her? <laughs> that would be very ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie likes that. That's very Ralph cute, Howard. That. It's funny. <sighs> Must be gay humor, Ralph. Likes <laughs> <laughs> That's just a private gay joke. You are so hot. You are so hot. The worst thing is that laugh of hers. You are so hot. I Thank can't you. believe I never realized it. Are you going to make a move on me now? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my movie wife. What's the matter with you? Come on. Stupid. All right, go ahead. I'm all man. I could pass that test. I don't know. Would you take it? Sure. Okay. Anytime. Give me $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> What else is in the news, Robin? Well, 101 Dalmatians is opening up. It's the uh, new film based on the Disney cartoon produced by John Hughes. It's getting uh, some decent reviews, and Glenn Close plays Ugh. the arch villain. I even saw her at the premiere dressed up like the arch villain. Yes, I think she's really into that whole campy thing. I don't think she's dropped that Sunset Boulevard character she yeah. played on Broadway yet. So she's just working it into another movie. Here she is talking about her character. What's the character's name? Uh, Cruella DeVille. Yeah, she's Cruella on the eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's nasty. All right, listen. Time isn't kind to everybody. No. All right. Well, I'm sure my movie isn't for kids. There's lots of nude bruds. Yeah. Is Mary nude in it? Yes. Yeah? No. No, she's she doesn't get. She's a real she actor. Would never oh, oh. Do that. No, well, pretending to be interested. Yeah. Why, Ralph? What do you care if she's nude? <laughs> yeah, right. You I'd just like, care if I'm nude. Uh, I like to check it to out. I come out of a tub. <laughs> You'll like that. To be one of the boys. Yeah, oh, Ralph trying to bomb with us. <laughs> she has a problem. Yeah. I could never do that now. <laughs> right. It's over. It's over, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Hi, takes twice. off her shirt though, in the movie, but you yeah. in her, but she's in her bra. In a bra. <laughs> oh. She probably won't even let you see her bare back. Uh, she lets you see that. She looks great in it. Don't you think you look great in it, Mary? No, I don't, but thank you. You do? Thank you. Just had a few zits on her back, that's oh. all. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. No, she looks really great. Wait. It's a nice little surprise in the movie. Hey, now. It's right before I make a baby with her. 
Hey, Ralph, let's go back in my office and play that scene from Deliverance and watch it together. <laughs> yeah. See if it brings anything to mind. I can't believe Ralph flunked his test. He did. <laughs> he yeah. did it, and he did it well. <laughs> <laughs> he really flunked it. With verve. He's no borderline case. <laughs> yeah. Really, man. Right, OJ. I I mean, I don't even know who Cindy Adams is, really, in show business. I don't. I mean, she never really made it nationally. I mean, she's she's a yenta. She's a leper. She's a leper. Thank you. She's a leper. And <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> she's a leper, a leprechaun. We'll go to Cindy's funeral. Right. <laughs> oh, that funeral I'll go to. I'll be tap dancing on her grave. <laughs> Who would have thought Tiny Tim would uh, be outlived by Cindy Adams? 900-year-old woman. I can't woman. believe Mother Teresa outlived Tiny Tim. Right. Right. They're in a race. <laughs> but she outlived him. Anyway, what's funny about this is that Cindy Adams goes on to say that uh, she was once having a big party. Yes. Biggest party there was. Leona Helmsley was there. And uh, here, I'll give you the list of people who were coming. David Dinkins, Jackie Mason, Bess Meyerson, Imelda Marcos. All the infamous people of the time. All the scandal babes. Anna Moffo, Beverly Sills, Jane Powell, Robert Merrill, Neil Sedaka, Sammy Con Sounds like an old age home. But did these people actually show up? Yeah, yeah no, she says, uh, she, oh yeah, it's true. You know, you might be right. She goes, I'd invited many who could raise voices in song. And this is who she'd invited. Uh -huh. uh, who knows who was there? Yeah. You got a good point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So she would invite Tiny Tim to all of these parties because she felt bad for him and thought that maybe he could network himself. I don't buy that. No. I think he's one of the few people who would show up at her parties. And not only that, she wanted him there to go for her friends to gawk at. Yeah, right. Yeah, like a freak yeah. show. I want to be entertainment. She makes me sick. I want to puke in her hair. <laughs> that big beehive hairdo of hers. Nobody will notice. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you there's tons of puke in there. That's what that is. That's not hair. It's puke. That's puke. <laughs> I hate everyone. <laughs> as long as I'm in this skin, I hate everyone. <laughs> People say, "When are you happy, Howard?" As long as now I'm in. Happy. As long as I'm in this skin, I'm never happy unless I'm puking in Cindy uh, Cindy's hair. When he's making <laughs> someone else miserable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous of Tiny Tim right now, okay? <laughs> He's relaxing. He's getting rest. Now, by the way, I'll tell you something. I believe Tiny Tim is happy that he's dead. He Tiny, Tim, Tiny Tim had a very hard life. And I'll tell you what I mean. Not the fact that he was once famous and now he was washed up. Well, what was hard about it? This was a guy who incessantly, he had obsessive compulsive disorder. He incessantly cleaned himself. He washed himself 10 to 15 times a day. He had to clean his bathroom two to three times a day. I'm just wondering about the word incessantly as you used it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Incessantly is proper. Is it? Yeah, of course. I'm a genius. <laughs> Don't question me. <laughs> just let me roll, okay? This is a guy who was enslaved by rituals. And most of these guys who were enslaved by rituals, and I mean rituals, I'm talking about he had to wear Depends diapers and he had to clean the bathroom every ten minutes. These guys have a tough life. It's very debilitating. When he, he wouldn't go to the bathroom either when he left his house either. When That's right. It's very debilitating to have this severe illness. I mean, this is a severe oh, case. Oh, now you're calling it an illness. Yes. <sighs> a mental illness. It is a mental illness. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> and this guy had a debilitating <laughs> life. And you could see the exhaust. He had to cream himself every minute and creaming his hands and his face and creaming and, 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 and smearing, <laughs> creaming. I mean, constantly creaming. You, you never saw any of the rituals with the hair and the, and the skin and the and diapers. it all came to that? Yeah. I mean, it was, <laughs> for what reason? And you look at the guy and go, what a mess. Yes. <laughs> I mean, as we speak, he's scrubbing the inside of the morgue drawer <laughs> that they have him stored in. I mean, the guy was a... And you'd look at him, you'd go, Jesus Christ, that's a mess. Yeah, it didn't help, man. Yeah, I mean, you know. Help. And he was washing the hair, and his hair was disgusting. <laughs> I mean... You know, for all that cleaning, he looked dirty. Yeah, he did. <laughs> there was nothing... There was, he really hated himself. But you know what? I, I knew that when uh, he had the first heart attack. Yes. And they said, we, you know, we want to operate on you. 
right. because you have clogged arteries, and if we don't operate on you, you're going to have another right. heart attack. And he said, no, it's not necessary. Right. I've lived enough. Yeah, he really, he was exhausted. And uh, everyone was acting yesterday, like my in-laws, uh, they asked me how old he was. I said he was 73. And then on the news, they reported he was 63. And they go, well, you obviously didn't really know him. I go, I did know him. The guy was 73. We figured it out. Yeah, he lied about his age so much. Right, for show business purposes. Yeah. Of course. The reason Cindy Adams had Tiny Tim to her parties is because Tiny Tim was the only person on this earth with worse hair than Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> so she would look good at the parties. Yes, everybody looked good. Joey looked good. <laughs> right. So anyway, Cindy Adams is eulogizing Tiny Tim. And by the way, I, I, I get sidetracked because there's many thoughts going through my head. Like yesterday, as Gary and I were on the phone, we were scrambling to get a hold of Fred so we could write a song for Tiny Tim. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gary turned to me and said, Howard, is there another group of people in America right now scrambling uh -huh. to, to, do put, to do anything for Tiny Tim? <laughs> I said, no, there is not. <laughs> there is absolutely not. There is no commotion. Yeah, this is the only show that actually commemorates Tiny Tim. But we had some great times with him and because of his mental illness and because he was so open about it. That was what made him a true eccentric. Yeah, he wasn't like some people in this room who kept it secret. That's right. Embarrassed about themselves. That's true. <laughs> I had the disease myself. <laughs> you are not a courageous man. And I would only talk about it till I was, until I was cured. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tiny was right up front. That's right. That's why he's dead. <laughs> but Tiny, as Robin points out, had decided, as we interviewed him, he, we interviewed him from the hospital. And do you know that really, when he suffered his first heart attack, the doctors could have easily unclogged his arteries. He could have lived another uh, 10, 15 years. But he uh, chose not to. And of course, believe it or not, I didn't know this till this morning when I read in the paper, the son of a bitch was out performing and dropped dead on stage. Yes, again. On, again on stage. He's, while singing, tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> In fact, his wife said that the last thing he heard was applause. That's right. So Tiny went out happy. There you go. Who knows? <laughs> what was that? Who was applauding? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so long. Uh, it is sad. Anyway, so uh, I like Tiny a lot. And, and uh, so, so Cindy Adams congratulates herself. For fi this, is, this is why this guy had a sad life. Because his eulogies from Cindy Adams is a horrible eulogy. Wait, wait, let me finish this. So for 15 paragraphs, she compliments herself on being what a wonderful person because she'd have Tiny Tim to her apartment. Right. And then she talks about all the great guests she had lined up. And Tiny Tim calls up Cindy Adams and he says, Cindy, all of the, you're having a big party. I would be so honored to sing happy birthday to Imelda Marcos. I would like to get up with my ukulele and sing happy birthday. This is the way Cindy tells it. And Cindy says, okay, Tiny, I'll let you do it. And she goes on to say for the next 15 paragraphs what a great woman she is because nobody wants to hear Tiny Tim sing happy birthday to Imelda Marcos, but because he's Tiny Tim, she's going to allow him to do it. You know she's full of crap. She's going to grant what a saint. him. Yeah, what a saint. What a great woman. That saint right. Cindy. You know, she's so full of crap. She's so full of crap. You know exactly what happened. She was probably begging him to do it. Anyway... Make a long story short, Cindy then describes, Tiny shows up at the party, and Cindy's in the middle of charging around because she's trying to make all her guests happy. It's the biggest party of the year, according to Cindy's column. Everyone is there. You can just imagine. Everyone is there. Cindy's running around, and who corners her Tiny Tim? And she, of course, doesn't have time for Tiny Tim because very busy with her important guests like that fat slob Imelda Marcos who sat there and raped the Filipino people. And the other beauty, uh, Leona Helmsley. Right, the other beauty, <laughs> Leona Helmsley, who, who can't pay her taxes properly. She doesn't have enough. She Mistreats has to have more. Staff. Yeah, that's some party. You know, Cindy Adams really, they should arrest everyone at a party. <laughs> I mean, she's disgusting. That's some party. Imelda Marcos, the rapist of the Filipino people, her and that friggin' husband of hers, who's encased in glass. <laughs> and that, that scumbag, uh, Leona Helmsley. That's some, that's some team of people to be honoring. Cindy Adams, Imelda Marcos, and Leona Helmsley, all in the same room. The Mount Rushmore of skank. The three skanks. I want a, a monument built to those three. <laughs> the Mount Rushmore of skank. <laughs> Thank you. Now... 
So you put that up the window, change direction. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> That's some party. So she's sitting here knocking Tiny Tim. So anyway, she goes, um, and listen to the headline. Uke Kook drove us all mad. That's Cindy Adams. <laughs> all right. So, so, uh, oh, no. so then Cindy Adams says, she's in the middle of the party. Tiny comes up to her and says, uh, listen, I, she goes, where's your ukulele? I don't have my ukulele, Tiny Tim says, because uh, I need to be paid up front. I need 500 bucks to sing at an appearance. <sighs> so, <laughs> I can just imagine this. Yeah. So, so Cindy, you know Cindy Adams probably called him and asked him to do it and hired him. He right. assumed he was and being he, hired. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he gets to be, to perform. Well, Cindy Adams blew her stack. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. Obviously, it was a misunderstanding, right? And she says, that, that night of the party, uh, uh, Claudia Cohn is there greeting Regis Philbin and Barbara Walters, I'm saying hi to. Listen to the name dropping. Uh -huh. And Senator D'Amato and Steinbrenner is uh, talking to Alan Alda. And, uh, uh, you know, she's telling you how the, the Sidney Biddle Barrows was there. Can you imagine another Ugh. filthy? And uh, she said, Tiny, please leave me alone. I have no time. And uh, that's when he asked for the 500 in advance. She says, she says, I can't believe he was asking me 500. He's so easily manipulated. You know, she says he was so easily manipulated. Like, like he, she, he had stabbed her in the back. What? Yeah, she couldn't believe he asked for 500 bucks. Because here she had been so kind to him, inviting him to all these parties when nobody really wanted him. And now she was being insulted by his request for 500 bucks. He couldn't help him out. Obviously, the guy was down and out. Then listen to this. She had Curtis Sliwa and Lisa Sliwa there at the party with the Guardian Angels, the yeah. new security. She turned to them and she said, escort Tiny Tim out of my party. Tell security not to allow him back in. Oh, God. Uh... He turned to me, Tiny Tim, and looking miserable, said, It wasn't my idea, Miss Adams. You have all these important VIPs here. I personally would be privileged to play Happy Birthday for Mrs. Marcos and to sing to Mr. Adams. But my people said, you know, he was talking about the right. manager. And with that, he was hustled out and into the elevator. It was my final and forever, forever sighting of Tiny Tim. Ugh. That's some eulogy. That was nice, Cindy. And really I, nice. I can't believe she has the nerve to write that. You know, she tells on herself. Yeah, well, I'll give her credit. At least she told the truth. But you know this isn't the truth. Probably she, Tiny Tim, she told him to come perform for the, those right. idiots. He thought it was a performance right. and that he should get paid. Yeah. Imagine she throws Tiny Tim out of a party when the rapist of the Filipino people, Imelda Marcos, is there who took shoes, who, 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 took, who took money meant for peasants and bought endless amounts of shoes, shoes she could never wear. What a bitch. And she's got a whoremonger there. Yeah, a whoremonger. Who doesn't pay her taxes. Yeah, that's, and who did she throw out? Tiny Tim. Because he needed 500 Never bucks. Never hurt anybody. Yeah, one of the most gentle creatures on the earth. Right. Can that's you imagine? Cindy for you. That's Cindy. You got a, you got, you got a, the Mount Rushmore of skanks and <laughs> Tiny Tim, and she throws Tiny Tim out. Oh. Can you imagine? Cindy Biddle Barrows is in the room, and she throws out Tiny yeah. Tim. One tray of those stupid hors d'oeuvres is five hundred dollars. Just to set that beehive hairdo of hers is fifteen hundred. Ah, stiboza. Instead, she threw him out. Yeah, bitch. And then she writes about it on the day of his death. Yeah, that's some. And, and then imagine that. Imagine that. That what kind of headline is that for the guy? <laughs> you, you kooks party antics drove me mad. You kook. That's what she reduced the guy to. You kook. On his deathbed. <laughs> you kook. Yep, hey, what's in your microphone, Jackie? Huh? Give me a second. Get on your microphone. It sounds weird. Hello? Doesn't it sound weird? Like it's one... coming out of one side. Yeah, it's coming out of one side. So it's, tap it down. Bang on it. No, uh, it's got to be at your end. No, on the connection. On the connection. That wouldn't affect the stereo. Right. Sure it would. Yeah, something wrong with your microphone. You gotta get that fixed. Anyway, there you go. There's this, there's your Tiny Tim story. Yeah, you uh, touched on one little thing about him, but that, that's really strange, too, because uh, he did always say thank you quite a lot. I mean, all the time. He was 
And yeah, I mean, you know, why throw the guy out? So, so, so they had a misunderstanding. He thought he was getting paid for the evening. But she has to throw him out, have the, have the, uh, have the guardian angels throw him out of the party. Like, CJ, th thank you to you at least 400 times before he left the year. That's what was amazing. Yeah. And he never hit you up for any money unless no. he was contracted to get any. Yeah. Mm. I wasn't paying him. <laughs> You'd have thrown him out? Yeah, I would have thrown, thrown him out. out of here. <laughs> that ain't great. <laughs> That's the guy supposed to make a living when everyone thinks he's supposed to be working for free for them. Well, it's a jinx show. Tiny Tim now gone, Sam Kinison, Ted the Janitor. Gilbert's got to watch out. He's one of the great ones, too. Yeah, Gilbert's probably on his he way out. His How much longer could he, he live? He almost died. Uh, Dennis, the smiling, stroked-out guy, he died. That's right. That's right. Uh, the little dwarf, what was his name? Which little dwarf? Hank? No. A little uh, CP Doug guy? Beatty. Doug Beatty. Oh, Doug Beatty. Yeah, the guy with muscular dystrophy That's gone. Right. All of them are gone. All the greats. All our great guests. All the freaks. Froggy. That's right. He was the first to go. First to go. And our, our, our girl who had Hodgkin's disease. She's gone. She's gone. There you go. Man. Actually, I can't believe how few important people died on this show. Wasn't there a guy? Oh, that was Froggy. Froggy. I was going to say, the guy who couldn't see. Yeah, it was Froggy. And uh, had diabetes. A lot of the greats go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing to Tiny Tim now. All right. <clears throat> Yesterday. Oh, dear. Tiny Tim the singer passed away. His ukulele no more he will play. Oh, Tiny Tim, he passed away. He wore Depends. Adult diapers covered his rear end. Tiny Tim, he was our cleanest friend. That Tiny Tim, he wore Depends. He had ratty hair. He was fat and looked like hell. He would scrub and scrub, trying so hard not to smell. An impotent man. Tiny couldn't count on his sex gland. Couldn't get aroused like a normal man. Oh, Tiny was an impotent man. Tiny had a heart attack. Off the stage, the poor man fell. Tiny Tim was really sweet. We all hoped he would get well, yesterday, 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 yesterday. <laughs> Tiny Tim the singer passed away. His ukulele, no more he will play. We'll miss you, Tiny. Every day. Oh, well, that'll get my little sad. <laughs> I think I have diarrhea. <laughs> about your singing. <laughs> but I've always used Depends. Oh. I've always used Depends. Is that correct? Uh, oh, uh, what time? What time? Uh, because instead of underwear, uh, I throw it away every day. It's nice and sanitary. I have no bladder Isn't control it bulky? problem. Uh, no, it is not. You're wearing a uh, diaper right now? Uh, I'm wearing, depends, yeah. No kidding. And you have no bladder control? Uh, no, no, he no. does. Uh, He's uh, saying... No, 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 he just said he has no bladder no, control. No, he has no problem, he said. No, I have no problem. Oh, I that only, what he said. It's nice and soft. Tiny um, believes in cleanliness. Are you wearing...
seen the ones now that have the cotton, I mean, or the fabric outside? Yeah, well, I've always worn that. Oh, uh, wow. I, I always, what I don't like about the pens is they have those, those the, the ones without the hook. You know, they have these, what you rip off, yes. you put together. Oh, that? Uh, what, with the, what the, the, the tape, the Velcro. Uh, like. No, I don't like that one. Yes. It, it, but I like the one with, with, what's in the loop where the button goes in. I However, see. I wish they would make, I wish they would make. It's hard to relate a, on this topic, a full, yeah. A full panty, I like to do huggies for kids. Right. Well, I can get into it uh, very Just step easily. in. Yeah, right. Without those straps that tear apart. Wow. But because wait a minute, Tiny. You didn't like the silk underwear because it had no openings. Right. Uh, I, I didn't like that. And but the, the Depends has no opening. Oh, oh it sure does. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. What do you know, Robin? Have you worn a Depends? The, the guy knows what he's talking about. Oh, oh, oh it sure does. Uh, Tiny, I have no idea what he's talking about. It sure does. Where? <laughs> this is amazing to me. So, in other words, because of your cleanliness phobia, in a way you have a germ phobia, right, True? Well, uh, I mean, you wash I, the hands. Uh, well, of some... Yes, well, that's important. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, but I, I, you so rather than do, wear underwear, underwear that can get fouled or have... Uh, that's right. Right. That's right. I, I, I throw the fen, you know, the pens right away every day. Every day. And, and no saying, wonder you want to close up that steel sack. Uh, yeah. Well, well, you don't want anybody looking at your garbage. Seeing what you're that's, doing. That, that's very true, uh, Miss Gers, because uh, I don't want, you know, the maids to see that. Sure. Right. Yeah, God no, forbid. No, I mean, That'll end up on the Every day I right. use a new Depends, and, but I wish they would make one where you could put it all the way up without those straps. Would, would you just, like a, an elastic around the I would, top? Just like the kitties have. Mm -hmm. I would like a, a wow. pampers. Wow. Tiny, this is fascinating. Pampers or depends that will fit up to the belly. No. So well thought out. Well, he was always trying to improve the products he liked. He yeah. liked to have input. Yes. Maybe that could be his legacy. He, he wanted would make input. Depends make a an adult diaper that goes around the waist. Wouldn't it be an honor if Depends named a Depend after Tiny Tim the that tiny went around the waist and all the way up to the belly button yeah. like they do for the kids? Yeah. But Maybe I'm stupid, but I never got the guy's point anyway. He wanted a Depends. That he could step into. You know, like Huggies, when you're getting ready to go from a diaper to underpants, Huggies makes this interim kind of diaper that you wear like underpants. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yes. And that's what he wanted for adults. But it wouldn't have oh fit. But he needed a, a waist size. What if it didn't fit his waist? I mean, his W-A... Well, you know, not his yeah, waist. It's A I S T. His, yeah, it's W A I S T E. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, what? No, I, I guess if they had um, elastic, number one, there could have been some kind of leeway. You could ma make them in small, medium, and large. I suppose. You know what he really wanted? What? He wanted a pair of underwear. Right. That yeah. he could throw away. Yeah. He wants, so why didn't he just buy underwear and throw it away? Be I get. I don't know. Are the depends <laughs> cheap? <laughs> I guess they were just. He really wanted a pair of underpants, is what yeah. he was describing. Yeah. Something he could step into that would fit him. But he would rely on the depends because it was meant to be thrown away. Right. He wanted disposable underwear, is what yeah. he wanted. And you know, he used to clean his whole body with paper towels. <laughs> right. He wouldn't use a regular towel. Or a washcloth. No, because they, he lived mostly in hotels and he felt they were, you know, disgusting. Right. And he would clean the entire bathroom before he could use it. Right. That's why the guy had to die. <laughs> I mean, he's thrilled right he now. He couldn't even keep this up anymore, I'm sure. Here's Tiny talking about his impotence, okay? okay. This is pretty good. A little... You have a complete, if I may say, hard on for women. I mean, you are. Oh, have, oh, right uh, now, I'm you know, impotent. I think that right. I could uh, say You're best. impotent now? Oh, yeah. Is I've that been, right? Been, what? Uh, you know, uh, my uh, new love, uh, Miss Sue, uh, she's 39. She's in, she's in, uh, in uh, Eden Prairie, Minnesota. She knows that. Uh, in fact, what I, happened, Tiny? Well, uh, when did it happen? Uh, from the oh, diabetes? Uh, uh, maybe part of it that way, but I don't blame that. I blame the years go by, and uh, definitely, uh, you know. The uh, lead drains out of the pencil. Well, I would say, oh, Tiny, you uh, took uh, such good care of yourself. It's hard uh, to believe. Well, that doesn't mean nothing. It, you know, uh, uh, it's a very delicate area. Yes. And, and do you it, cream it? Did some, you misuse yeah, it? Sometimes you I do. Did. You do so, lotion uh, it. Uh, I used to. What lotion do you use? Uh, well, uh, oh, I was going back to the to the. Uh, <laughs> you didn't use that 80s. hormone cream on it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I've stopped doing that. Maybe I should have. Right. <laughs> Maybe you should lotion it. Maybe that's what happened. No, but it just time will do that. Really? Oh, uh, tiny! Uh, uh, don't uh, tiny uh, that. I mean, you're, you're only when sixty-four. When did it happen? How long ago? How I, long well, has this been going? I discovered about July of last year. Is you know what right? I use? I lotion myself with uh, Easy Off down there. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's got oh, the grit. Well, oh, that's a very delicate area. Oven cleaner. And, 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 you know, I didn't fool around. You know, I don't believe in fornication before marriage. 
Uh, but the thing is, and Miss Jan left me so many times, I don't believe in fooling around myself because that's naughty. You right. never did. Uh, that. Tiny does not. Oh, no, sure Tiny has done sure it. Are you sure you didn't just uh, 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 back up no, no, the system? Tiny no, has fooled around with himself. Uh, uh, right? Uh, Am I uh, correct? Uh, uh, but very rarely. Times, uh, very, on times I hate that it's wrong. It's yeah, right. you always felt that you were failing when you did uh, that. Uh, Tiny feels yeah. that should be safe for marriage. I think yeah. we've all established well, yeah, that. Mm. Wow. Mm. Very, very involved man. Rules and regulations and, you know. Yeah, here was a guy who was as eccentric as you can get. Yeah. And yet he had all these moral things going on. Best guest ever. You know, he, uh, and you know he's dead now and you don't go in. Unfortunately, he's not anywhere except dead. And it's a shame. I don't know that. Oh, I do. You think Tiny didn't have a soul? Uh, I think we all, <laughs> we're all just dead when we die. But what about your soul? Nothing cool happens to our soul. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hope I'm wrong. But somehow I know I'm right. Nothing cool ever you happens. You won't know. Yeah. That's the one good thing about it. You don't know anything. Mm. As long as there's no diarrhea. Well, all of that goes, Howard. Yeah. And what did you want again done with your... The garbage fell. And whatever happens, happens. <laughs> and they check on me every once in a while. If they tip your can and take your body out, that's okay. Right. I don't care if wild animals eat me or what. <laughs> I want to be like um, Mussolini. I just want to be left in the streets and people can, you know, urinate. urinate and, your yeah. <laughs> Dogs can eat me. You know, just leave my naked body strewn all over the streets. That's a fitting place for me. <laughs> Want to hear Tiny explain products that he uses? Sure. All right, let me take a break, and then I'll do that, and then we'll do the news. I'm just thinking that we're coming to the end of the millennium, you know. Why, because Tiny's dead? No, uh -huh. just because it's three. there's only three years left in this century. I know. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just wondering, is, is uh, something going to happen? Are things going no. to change? Nothing's going to change, except our checkbooks. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. The, the planet don't know it's the millennium. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. It's, it's man-made all those years and stuff. Hey, come on, everybody makes such a big deal about it. Yeah, but the year 2000 is meaningless to the universe, except to us. Yeah. Because we created some stupid system that says it's the year 2000. To the chinks, it's 5,087. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Okay, nothing happened in their millennium. That's true. All right, let's take a break, and we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you, Jackie. Oh, oh. All right, Jackie. That's enough. The song's over. Oh. <laughs> there oh. he goes. Oh. He gets into oh, it. He don't oh, stop. Oh. 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 I love when Jackie sees. Don't stop him. Yeah, I know. He's great. He's on a roll. He's so into it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Music doesn't even have to be playing anymore. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. He loves oh, acapella. Oh, he loves acapella, Robin. Oh, That's yeah. right. He gets inspired and then he can just go on his own. Yeah. I'm like a vampire. I sleep all day. <laughs> I'm exhausted. They say they honestly believe they're vampires. They sit around in little clubs and they cut each other and they drink each other's blood. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, they broke into an animal shelter. Two puppies were mutilated and their body parts taken. Right. They had stomped one of them to death and one of them had, had their legs pulled off. <laughs> you know what it is? Everybody wants to be something uh, super normal. Yeah. And, you know, especially after and this... And you're living out there in the hinterlands and there's nothing else going on. Right. It's like a cool thing to say you're a vampire. Believe it or not. And it's, like, kind of neat. I mean, after I saw the movie, you know, the Anne Rice movie. Yeah, uh, Interview with a Vampire. Yeah, I mean, you know, I want to be a vampire, too. It's cool. Like, you get to have chicks. Sure, I walked around with a black cape on for a couple uh, Right. <laughs> you know, uh, Ronnie, my limo driver, is a wolf man? <laughs> <laughs> and they haven't even made a movie about the wolf man. <laughs> yeah. But they say vampire calls are spreading like wildfire through the United States with teens 
being attracted like moths to the flame of the promise of unlimited power, eternal life, and incredible sex. Right. <laughs> you know who's into a weird thing? John Tesh. He's uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there all by himself. Grillo's my Igor. <laughs> In the vagina. How come I, I somehow realized that when I die, no one will be at my side, <laughs> whether in life or death? I don't know. See, I have this feeling that yeah. you're going to live a very, very long time. Yes. Long enough for all your enemies to die. Right. And then you'll be revered for what you did for radio, see? Mm. And you'll be uh, eulogized by young people, yeah. not people your own age. I mean, I'll be like Milton Berle. I'll go to like uh, these <laughs> award shows That's and right. stuff. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know... When I got into radio in 1972, <laughs> it was a bland medium. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you know, I remember in 1999 when my good friend Jackie Marling died. Right before he <laughs> passed, he said to me, Howard, you'd help change the world. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have white long hair as opposed to the hair you have. Right. <laughs> Jackie, the Jew hater Martling, as we oh. finally refer to him. <laughs> and I think you'll still be wearing glasses so that your uh, nose looks a little less pronounced. Right. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll be wearing shades. I'll be 100 years old wearing shades. Um, I guess in 1999, when Jackie died, he said to me, and these were his last words, he said, Bye, you Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Not realizing I was a half a Jew. <sighs> but... <laughs> is this what I'm going to sound like when I'm an old man? Yeah. You know, what? Yeah, your voice will be gone. All gone. You'll be stooped. You'll be about <laughs> five foot three. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in the year 2005 <laughs> when I buried my dear friend Gary Delabedi. He was my longtime producer. His teeth were sticking out of the dirt. I remember oh, we buried him, and despite the fact Ooh. he was six feet under, his teeth protruded from the ground. His teeth continued to grow, <laughs> even after death. But like Jackie, Gary was a hard worker and tried his best. I, of course, tripped over his teeth at the funeral. <laughs> we didn't have to put up a stone because his teeth <laughs> became his marker. But if someday someone had told me I would be receiving a award... From this esteemed yeah, you'll probably, college, you'll probably Harvard, cry a lot too. Yeah, Adelphi. <laughs> See, in the year 2030, Adelphi will be a great college. Yes, Harvard will be nothing. Hmm. <laughs> I remember. Want to go to Adelphi. I remember in the year 2015, my dear departed friend Fred died. <laughs> he vaporized mysteriously. <laughs> we never could find the remains. There was no body. Hey, it was awful. <laughs> I remember in the year 2020 when my dearest Robin passed away. Oh. I'm not. You're, I'll be there. I finally felt her up. Ah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> At the funeral. <laughs> it was an open casket. Her breast protruded very nicely. Uh, that's oh. right. I want to be buried nude so right. that everybody can take a look. Yeah, to so finally see what's doing under those clothes. <laughs> I remember in the year 2019, Tom Chiasano, my old general manager, died. I was exhausted from four days of dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you had a heart attack. Right. Celebrating. By the way, I would like to thank uh, the dean of this college, Dean Grillo, for inviting me today. He worked for me as an intern for many years before becoming dean of this great college. So thank you, Dean Grillo. He became Dean once spelling he lost its uh, yeah. <laughs> importance. Dean Grillo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dean Grillo. Yes, take a bow, you bald bastard. <laughs> Put those bumps on your head. I just heard a rumor that Dee Snyder died many years ago. Anybody remember that? <laughs> you didn't stay in touch? <laughs> no. <laughs> I had lost I touch over you. <laughs> Douche. This is the Howard Stern Show. Douche. 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 
douchebag, 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 yeah, douchebag, 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 yeah, douchebag, douchebag, yeah. Wouldn't you like to own a song douche called bags. Douchebag? Tough. Douchebag. Very tough to just go with without hearing. <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> douchebag. So I'm working on the douchebag Douchebag. <laughs> right? Yeah. And it works to any music, if you ah, can say. Douchebag fits anything. Play anything. I'll play I can play the John Tesh Christmas album. Watch douche this. Bag. Watch this. Douchebag. Douchebags, 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 douchebags. It's better. Douchebags, douchebags, douchebags. Who needs the Dust Brothers? We can do this ourselves. Douchebag, 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 douchebag. Is that what your song is gonna be? Douchebag. No, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna fill in this. Douchebag. Homo. Homo. Douchebag. Homo. Homo. Douchebag homo. Douchebag. Homo. Homo. <laughs> Douchebag. Homo. Douchebag. How about big douchebag homo? Douchebag. Homo. Douchebag. Douchebag. How about you think? Douchebag. Homo. 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 You don't think it's good? Yeah, 10 minutes song. No, 10 minutes, then they walk out of the studio. <laughs> yeah. 10 minutes before the Dust Brothers walk out. Looking home, like, what and like I should walk in. I should, have a hidden, I should have a hidden camera. You know, I'll, I'll go, look, guys, I've come up with a song. I'll just get in there, and I'll be like, I'll be smoking a pipe, you know. I'll just go, douchebag, douchebag. Douchebag. <laughs> Those guys just go running out. Are you serious? Come on. Come on. One, two, three, like this. Now, watch how this works. Watch this. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Now, homo, homo, homo. Homo. Douchebag. Homo. There you go. Come on. Homo. 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 Big. Big. You like it? What do you think? No? You wouldn't buy this? No. Douchebag. See, I'd buy this. Douchebag. Any idiot who has a chance of making a soundtrack album puts out a song called Douchebag. And the only lyrics are douchebag homo. Douchebag. <laughs> Is Irving Berlin dead? There better be some other good songs on the album. That's all I've got. Really? Yeah, well, there are. Douchebag homo. Douchebag homo. Douchebag. <laughs> Meanwhile, look how funny it is. You're Douche laughing your ass off. Douchebag. Don't even list it. Douchebag. Don't even list it. What? Put that one on 12th. Yeah. Douchebag homo. We got to actually. I'm very ex All right, Fred, turn this, turn this stuff off. I, th I know. It should be like those old albums where, you know, the song was so long it had to go to the other side. You yeah. douchebag reprise. <laughs> yeah, like an Almond Brothers. Eat a peach. They had to fill out with two sides of, of uh, apple jam or right. something. <laughs> yeah. For information, visit Jokeland on the web at JackieJokeman.com. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> no, okay. Dot com. I'm on the internet. Wow. I got a dot com. I got my own joke page. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm on a roll. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'm on the World Wide Web. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got an email from a guy in Australia. Wow. I found ah. a page with jokes and they go around the world. You know what's great about the World Wide Web? Like, you don't know who's looking at your web page. You could have, like, the president of Olio Records. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone could be scanning the web. I'm connected. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got an email from Japan the other day. It's the ultimate networking. I said to my wife, hey, Nancy, look at this. A guy from Japan. Wow. Oh. Can you believe that? Wow. <laughs> Wow! I'm <laughs> <laughs> laughing at my jokes. Yeah, you know some of these old jokes are new in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm oh, a genius. Oh. Yeah, I got oh, you know oh, I could oh. probably appear in Japan at a small club and fill it up now just because of the World Wide Web. 
And Howard thinks he does everything for me. <laughs> now with the World Wide Web, I have my own source of exposure. <laughs> oh, oh. Not just the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. F you. Voice oh, yeah. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> what? Doesn't it hurt your voice? No, I love it. Does it hurt yours, does it? Yeah, you seem fine. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Nancy. You can also meet Carl Olio at these records. Wow. Carl is it, is Olio Carl is going to be there? Yeah, Carl Olio. Wow. Carl President. Oh, Capri He's like the Henry Ford of recording. <laughs> the main guy. <laughs> He's as old as I'm, that's for sure. The big G. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, hook it up with me was the best thing ever happened to Carl Olio. Everyone knows all your records. I'm, now, I'm his I'm, Mariah Carey. Yeah. I put him on the map. <laughs> I'm his Mariah Carey. <laughs> I'd like to marry Carl Olio. I am Olio Records. Yeah. I'd like to be a kept comedian. I should have gotten a piece of the action. <laughs> <laughs> Olio Martling Records. It has a ring to it. <laughs> yeah. I know Fred has a cold and it's hard for him to talk. But no matter how hard it is, I knew he'd eventually he'd jump in. He'd have to. Yeah, he was, was killing I was, you. I was trying to restrain, but yeah. I know he was it's, getting it's, too it's good. Just, it's just <laughs> halfway through, I said, "Gee, Fred usually jumps in at yeah. some point." I go, from his cough. "Oh yeah, he has a cold," and then and I just knew. I said, "I got to keep doing this until he jumps in," and you did, and you jumped in. He cannot resist. I took the bait. Yeah. yeah. Usually he doesn't start till ten. Usually doesn't start till ten. He never says anything, <laughs> and he just chimes right in. He just can't wait. Who wants to you have got an Olio contract? Talk what have you got? Norse. You've got a dog and a wife of strips. <laughs> <laughs> I filled it in for you, Jack. Thank yeah, you. there you go. Don't have to write it or nothing. All right, anyway, there's a woman. I, I was going to... Is that I, it for me? Yeah, you're done. Oh. We're on to something. We're on to something new. I told Carl Olio we'd go till 7.45. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Olio. <laughs> you know... What is Olio? Is that Olio. an Italian name? Capriolio. Yeah, I guess. Oh, oh, I see. Capriolio. Guinea. <laughs> He's a guinea. <laughs> <laughs> a whop, a dago. Two guineas walking through a bar. My CD is pressed on ZD. Get it? <laughs> a whop, a dago, and a Polak going yeah. through a bar. Yeah, hey, but I say Polak last time I did that. They tried to kill me. <laughs> they had a hitman out for me. <laughs>